Cooney BMW salutes Oregon's champions. Katie McHugh. Dusty McHugh, Special Olympics, Oregon. I actually was the first of the two of us that got involved. I worked for Nike for a long time and they um, host, I guess, uh, youth games every year. And the idea is to introduce younger athletes to Special Olympics. Um, in the state of Oregon, the majority of our athletes are older because kids are incorporated into their school programs. So the, the youth games is an opportunity for kids to find out about Special Olympics. So I volunteered um, at that event several years ago and had just a phenomenal experience um, with one particular kid who really sort of left this lasting impact on me. Next thing we knew, we were coaching uh three sports. I, I think I certainly have learned about ability versus disability um, and what it truly means to be disabled. And it's for the most part not our athletes <laughs> that are disabled. Um, it certainly has given us I think a perspective on life and the things that are truly important um, and allowed us to appreciate little things. There's no, not a lot of difference between mentally and physically challenged people and us. And uh, Special Olympics shows that when during their events, during their state games, regional games. It, uh, it showcases just how great these people are. And, and you know, I think there's a lot of misconceptions and there's a lot of words that are used that, that shouldn't be. And uh, I think if people just take some time out of their day or, or a weekend to go check out the, uh, any, any events, uh, I think it'll give them a dose of perspective that that'll open their eyes and and start to educate people on you know they're great people they don't judge you and uh, the main thing is there's, there's just a small difference between an athlete and and us and uh, we have a lot to learn from special olympics athletes cooney bmw salutes oregon's champions